So for your marble still life, you're going to set up. You need marbles, a flashlight, and a phone. If you don't have a phone or whatever we can, I have two flashlights, um, three flashlights, with my phone, I'm sure you can partner up with somebody. So to do this, you need a foam tray. I don't know if you can see it, but oh yeah, you can see the little divots in there. That's from me placing the marble so they don't roll away and I can take my photograph. The reason we're doing this is we want to figure out where our shadow is going to be and the picture is gonna help us keep it consistent when we're drawing our final and we have a picture to look at because photorealism is all about looking at a photo and making a realistic representation of that photo. All right, so I have five marbles. It does not matter the color because you're gonna be coloring them the way you want to, but these are just, and the shadow isn't about color, it's about where the shadow is, all right? So when you get your location, just press down and the marble won't roll away because you can see if I put a marble down, it's gonna roll on me. You can see that it's moving all the way around, so until it found a divot. So I'm going to put my marbles in and then press down and if you're not sure where you want them, you know, you can always move them and press down again. So I'm gonna lift the camera and notice I'm staggering them all out. I do want, and I think for your final, I put that you need to have three, five, or seven marbles, even if you wanted to do nine, and that you have to have overlapping shadows. So when you're doing this, really make sure that your shadow is overlapping. So we're gonna turn the lights out. I might have you go into the supply closet. I might have you go down to the computer lab at the end of the hallway where it's dark with a partner to take this photo. So you really can get a shadow, an extreme shadow casted. So I'm gonna turn on the flashlight. Even with my lights on, I'm thinking you're gonna be able to see a shadow. So do you see, let's see if I can get this angle right. It's kind of hard in the picture, but in the photo but I'm going to cast the shadow. I can go from the light from here, here. I'm doing it from above. Probably won't get that great a shadow, but you wanna show it from all different angles until you see the shadows on the white plate the way that you want it. And you'll see that I have the example photo on the slideshow. So when you're happy, you're near, you have the, the angle of the, the camera you want, the angle of the flashlight, you can have your partner take the picture, or if you have the camera, you can take the picture and your partner has a flashlight, however you want it to work. But make sure that it's resembling of the photo I took. Um, it can be down a little bit more, up a little bit more, however you want your shadow to be, all right?